this is? Of course you do. It's a magnet. It's a horseshoe magnet and it's a permanent magnet. It'll pick up small iron or steel objects and if you want to make it let go, you need to pull those things away from the magnet. That's not the only kind of magnet. There are some which you can switch on or off as and when you need them. They're called electromagnets and here's how you make one. You need to start with a long thin iron or steel object such as a nail or a screw or a key or even a spoon and then you'll need some wire to wrap around it. Now you can if you like use plastic insulated wire if you have it but if you don't have that sort of wire don't despair you can use something from the kitchen that will do equally well. A piece of aluminium foil about 30 centimetres that's the width of the aluminium foil normally and two or three centimetres across and you're going to make that into a piece of wire here's how you'll do it. You start by folding it in halves all the way along and then press it flat and then you fold it in halves again and press it flat once again. Take several minutes over this and you'll end up after about four or five folds with a long, thin, fairly strong piece of aluminium foil like that. That is your wire. Now it's not insulated yet and it will need to be. Here's how you do that. You take a piece of sticky tape, a little bit shorter than the aluminium foil, so you tear it off. Ooh, about that length there. And then you place this down on the table with the sticky side up. Now to do that, you'll need to fold the ends over, press them down, fold the other end over, press it down. Now it's nice and straight and the sticky side is up. Then take the piece of aluminium wire and put it across the top of the sticky tape. Try and get it as near as you can to the center of the tape and then press it all the way along. That is your insulated wire. And you're going to wrap that around the nail or screw or key or whatever you use. I'll use the nail. Before you do that though, you must do something to the nail and that is insulate the nail itself so that the aluminium foil doesn't come in contact with the nail. Here's how to do that. Take another piece of sticky tape and wind it around the nail in a sort of long spiral so that it covers the entire length of the nail other than the very ends and your nail is now insulated. Right, next point wrap around the aluminium wire. To do this, start with one end and place it near the head of the nail like that and then wind that around in a spiral. Now try and get the little pieces of aluminium foil fairly close together so that they're almost alongside one another. And because of the tape, it means the pieces of aluminium foil won't touch each other. You're making a coil where every little coil of aluminium is separated from every other one. Do that carefully and wind the aluminium all the way along the nail and you'd end up with something like this. There it is. Now that is the makings of an electromagnet but it won't act as an electromagnet until we get some electricity flowing through the aluminium. To do that all you need is a battery, an ordinary torch battery, dry cell. Tape one end of aluminium foil that's poking out from the end of the nail to the base of the battery. Once again with a piece of sticky tape. Make sure it's firmly attached. There we are. And then you're ready to switch it on. You can guess how I'm going to switch it on, can't you? Simply by touching the other end to the top end of the battery. But before we do that, we'd better check and make sure that that nail is not already a magnet. Well, it certainly doesn't seem to be. It won't pick up the paper clips. Now let's switch it on. And when I do switch it on by touching this piece of aluminium foil to the other terminal of the battery, Electricity flows through the coils of aluminium, turning them into a magnet. The purpose of the nail is simply to make the whole thing a stronger magnet. Let's see if it works strongly enough to pick up a paper clip. Yes, it does. We can now shift the paper clip across and when we want to drop it, simply disconnect the electricity. Now to pick up another one, bring it over, switch it on again, pick it up, move it across, drop it. We have an electromagnet which we can use to pick up things, move them across and drop them. If I'd started with a key or a spoon, it would have done the same job. It would have looked more like this. There's an electromagnetic key and a spoon. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have a great big one of these at a junkyard? You could use it perhaps to pick up old bits of metal and move them around and drop them. You know what? They use them. They're all over the place. Here's one working now.